every year there are more and more kids who say that their dream job is being a YouTuber. And there are renewed arguments every couple of months on Twitter about whether it's a good or a bad thing. There are two reasons why your kids will benefit from being a creator, no matter what kind of occupation they decide to pursue. And by the end of this video, I will convince you to let your kid give the career economy a go. Welcome to the Here's Tea channel. My name is Tahir and let's do this. Discipline. Being a YouTube creator is a lot of work. No matter what you think about how long it will take to just upload the video on YouTube or TikTok, it actually takes a long time for a digital creator to conceptualize the idea, to record it, to edit, to decide when to publish and what kind of content like a thumbnail or the description to put in front of that video to attract more attention. By signing up for a hobby of being a digital creator, the kids will have to learn that discipline to maintain the rigorous schedule of posting the content very regularly, of setting the right expectations with the audience and meeting that expectation long term. This is the only way you can be successful on TikTok, on YouTube, on Instagrams of the world. Consistency matters. Look at the example of Mr. Beast, your kid's favorite creator who I've discussed in some of these videos. He's been at it for over a decade and for almost seven years out of those 10, he had to just grind it out and constantly post content without receiving that much acclaim or that much recognition. Until the last three, four years, he blew up and started taking over the platform. All of that was based on those seven years of experience that he had to gain by staying disciplined about creating the content. And I'd argue if being a creator will teach your kid that discipline, that ability to maintain the rigorous schedule, that's the kind of lifelong skill they'll be able to take with them into any other industry and be successful with it. Self-improvement, the second skill your kid will learn by being a digital creator, because Creator economy, the social media platforms that are out there, they're all relatively young. Because of that, there are no books out there who can teach you really how to be good at this industry. This industry changes at such a neck-breaking pace that there is always something new to consume, always something new to learn. And your child, if they are to be successful as a digital creator, they'll have to constantly evolve, constantly stay on top of what's trending, what are the best new tricks and tips, how do I make my content better, how do I make more people watch my content, how do I improve the skills that help me support all of that content creation process. This method of self-improvement, this method of iteration, the constant iteration and building up on the blocks that you've established early on, is the kind of lifelong skill that many professionals today who I work with, who have graduate degrees, do not not possess. With the barriers to enter the creator economy being at their lowest, where you only need your cell phone to really become a digital creator, the market is so saturated, your kids will have to compete with so many other individuals that, I'd argue, if they were able to leverage that self-improvement process and overcome a lot of challenges and actually become good at it and gather the audience around themselves of like-minded individuals who are passionate about the same topic that they are producing the content around, that's the kind of skill that your kid will be able to take to any other industry and they'll be able to be successful and build a successful career within that industry without ever having to open a specialized book or go and hit up a major set of courses because they already know the valuable lesson of being on your own and trying to navigate the environment with very scarce resources. But what if they didn't make it? What if they failed to become the next big YouTuber? They could have spent all that time invested in education, or invested in athletic abilities and become someone else in that area. That's true. And I'd still argue they should not be going full time. They should equal part divide their time between being in the creator economy, doing some sports and studying. But ultimately, the creator economy skills are not going to vain. I discussed in this video over here how there is this new trend of the 9 to 5 digital creator, essentially the individuals who are former creators who know the platforms and they simply join the big corporations to support their marketing efforts. Any kid who spent hours upon hours, years upon years creating content online as the creator economy evolved, they'll be the best when it comes to taking over those divisions within the companies and helping them succeed. Because no one teaches TikTok, at least there probably are some universities who teach TikTok, don't believe them, because the only way to learn TikTok, the only way to learn YouTube, the only way to learn Instagram is by doing it, is by consuming its content, is by recreating that content and eventually creating your own form of original content on those platforms. No university can teach you that, so you have to use the common practical knowledge that you develop by being a digital creator. So by the time those kids, peers, enter the workforce, the only thing that they have to really show for is the diploma and not much of experience behind it, where your kid could potentially have that diploma and have years of already baked in experience 
on those platforms. The best part, the creator economy will continue to evolve. So by the time your kid decided that maybe they had enough of the corporate life, they would have an opportunity to now leverage all of that pre-corporate experience, the corporate experience, to become their own individual creator again in some new area, in some new space, or maybe they can open a consulting company and advise other creators or other companies on how to succeed on those platforms. There's so many paths and there's so many different combinations of those tools that the creator economy offers that I strongly believe, and I hope you're convinced by now that by practicing all of those digital media creator experiences, your kid can become the future professional that we will all be hiring to support our companies. Did I convince you to let your child become a YouTuber? Did you see how they can become the future of the creator economy? And what are other trends in this new digital media space that you feel not confident about, you feel you would like to learn more, and you'd like to task me to tell you about those experiences. Share your thoughts and ideas and the questions in the comment section below. The irony that I thought about is that there used to be days when the kids would be supporting their families and working the farm and there'll be others who'd be like, they should go to school and the family would be fighting over it and eventually the kid would escape and go to school. Now I have the inverse scenario where all those kids are in schools, so they're all going, attending their classes and now I'm here like, they should go in the field and play the game. I know. It's different, it's a new approach, it's a new era, but this is what the world is like. Things change, tools evolve, social media is just another one of those tools that helps us acquire lifelong skills. And I know it's still not always as safe space as they would like it to be for the kids, but we can help them navigate it. We can be there with them on the journey. And there are plenty of other resources and companies who help us make sure that they practice social media safely. And if you're curious to learn more about the creator economy, how it can affect other individuals, how and who are leading the way in this space. There are plenty of those stories on this channel because I'm here every Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, share this video with some of your friends. Here are a few more videos for you to enjoy and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!